So if you are not coming to the people's defense, right. then don't challenge us when young people and other people who are frustrated and instigated by the people you pay, you are paying instigators to be among our people out there throwing rocks, breaking windows, and burning down buildings. And so young people are responding to that. They are enraged, and there's an easy way to stop it. Arrest the cops. Charge the cops. Charge all the cops. Not just some of them, not just here in Minneapolis. Charge them in every city across America where our people are being murdered. Charge them everywhere. That's the bottom line. Charge the cops. Do your job. Do what you say this country is supposed to be about, the land of the free for all. It has not been free for black people, and we are tired. Don't talk to us about looting. Y'all are the looters. America has looted black people. America looted the Native Americans when they first came here. So looting is what you do. We learned it from you. We learned violence from you. We learned violence from you. The violence was what we learned from you. So if you want us to do better, then damn it, you do better. Before I speak on the actual topic of this video, I just want to put out a disclaimer that I am not ever trying to speak for the black community. I am simply here as an ally to bolster your voices and to support your voices. I felt as though not making this video was the same as being complicit and I don't ever want to take up space that you would not like me to. So please let me know if I ever overstep my bounds. I think Will Smith put it best when he said that racism is not getting worse, it's getting filmed. And I think that is very apt for many things these days. Racism, injustice, and police brutality are not getting worse. Violence is not more prevalent. It is just being filmed. And unfortunately in this day and age, it's necessary that that is filmed. Because in some places and in some situations, it is the only way that certain people will be held accountable. And to anyone who doesn't keep up with American politics, you may think that these protests and these riots came out of nowhere, and that they were caused by one death. But they were not caused by one death. It was caused by Ahmaud Arbery, it was caused by Breonna Taylor, it was caused by Tony McDade, it was caused by George Floyd but it was also caused by every single death that resulted from racism. Every death of every person of colour that was caused by police brutality, by police racism, by racism in general, and by white supremacy. Everything that led up to this point is why these protests are happening and why they are so necessary. These protests intended to remain peaceful. Every bit of evidence I have seen so far has shown white people starting the violence. It has shown police starting the violence. And they're protest. trying to make it seem like this is a non-peaceful protest. It's ridiculous. You heard the lady. There is tear gas being deployed up the street on what is a peaceful protest. There is no reason for this. All we want is justice and peace. We are tired of the violence. And here they are with their goddamn tear gas. This is ridiculous. We got to do better.
plenty of time here. Are you okay? I'm getting shot. I'm getting... Hey, Katie, are you okay? Get the fuck off! Get the fuck off! Don't touch me either. Fuck you do again with the fuck you gonna do, man? Rescue is uh, just uh, arriving here on the scene, also with a unit from West Valley City. Now, this is just in the area where this vehicle has been burning. Um, you guys see it right here. Police officers starting to move some of the crowd. Uh, sadly, a man was just knocked off his feet. <laughs> This is not an unlawful fucking assembly. Exactly. <laughs> Amen. Yes. Hey, they all got their body cameras on. Be careful. Join the protest or get the fuck out, bitch. Oh, and they fired tear gas. Here we go. There. Oh, look at that lawful assembly being fucking tear gas and shot fucking rubber bullets. There we go. Oh, fucking great. Okay, great. That was a fully. Oh, sorry, mother. That was a fully ass lawful protest. Everybody just had their hands up and they just started fucking shooting. Oh, they fired another tear gas. They are firing tear gas as fuck. Everyone, everyone get that shit. Yeah, they are firing fucking tear gas for people holding their hands up. Oh, yep, that one's coming here. Watch out, watch out. Watch out! Watch out, watch out, watch out! Everybody watch out! I yelled out my window, cops thought, uh, uh, Did somebody hit you with something? Yes, two black and African Americans. They beat me through my open window that I yelled out, all lives matter. <laughs> I'm down. I'm down. Okay. Thank you. I don't have one on. You don't have your body camera on. Or a name tag. That's crazy. You just got screenshotted. You, Raya, cool, that's my favorite app, but you don't got your motherfucking body camera on. 
breaking a law. He dropped it. He dropped it trying to turn it on. <laughs> Fuck, this is too good. Y'all dumb as hell. Holy shit. How are you going to drop your body camera? Can, I, can we do a body cam check? How many of you have them on? Raise your hand. Um, so if you look, they have red light. If you zoom in with your phone, you can see a red light, which means it's on. And if it's off, they don't have a red light. And so he grabbed the guy and made a move because it was off. Half of them have them off right now. Half of y'all got your body cam Yeah, zoom in on the cameras. And if you see a red dot, it's on. If it's not, ah. Uh, I feel like that's illegal. It is illegal, yeah. Oh, okay. So Mr. Raya right here made his other officer move because his other officer's body camera was off. And his other officer body dropped the camera. He dropped the camera, dropped the camera so. But let's talk more about the police because the police are showing up to protest in full riot gear. Peaceful protests. Protests where people are standing and chanting. Protests where people are standing with their hands up and it's quiet. Protests where people are sitting with signs and doing nothing violent. There is so much evidence of police in riot gear showing up to peaceful protests and instigating the violence themselves. The fact that the police are starting the violence is illegal. Peaceful protests are by law allowed and the police starting the violence is illegal. But the police aren't just starting the violence and escalating the violence, they're also attacking the press because they don't want people to see the way they are starting the violence. They don't want people to see the way that they are the problem. Not only are they attacking press, they are attacking medical aid workers. There are medical aid practitioners who are volunteering to help people who are hurt in the protests on either side. They are not protesting, they are not being violent, and they are not instigating anything. They are simply trying to help those who are wounded, those who need water, those who need snacks. But the police have shown to be attacking them and stopping protesters from getting medical help. But that's not going to work anymore because this is the age of the video camera. This is the age of the video phone. And we see you. We see what you are doing. All eyes are on you. And you can't hide your injustices anymore. There have also been instances of policemen covering their names and turning off their body cams. Again, illegal. They don't want to be caught doing what they are doing because they are instigating violence. They are the ones setting off tear gas when there is nothing violent happening. They're the ones shooting off rubber bullets when no one is hurting anyone. The police are toxic. The police are violent. The white supremacy that is so ingrained into the police and justice system in America is disgusting. And it is why we are so angry. And we can't say it's just a few bad cops because it's not. It is the whole goddamn system. That system is not broken. It is working as intended. That system was built to oppress people of color, to murder people of color, and to let people get away with anything they want to if they are a cop. Police in America are not held accountable, which is absolute bullshit. The people given power, the people given guns, the people who are sworn to protect and serve should be held more accountable than anyone else because they are supposed to be the role models. They are supposed to be who we look up to to protect us, to serve us. We should not be afraid to call the police. We should not be afraid to ask for help. And we should not be afraid that if we are having a peaceful protest because someone was murdered, that the police will shoot off tear gas and shoot off rubber bullets at us. The system is not broken. The system is working like a well-oiled machine. But the system is built on racism and violence and toxicity. Countries worldwide, but especially America, are built on the oppression of people of color. It's time to tear down that system. It's time to tear down every system that's built like this. It's time to build a new society where everyone is equal, where no one benefits or suffers because of the color of their skin, and where cops are held accountable for their actions. Let the protests continue. They have to continue until actual change is done, until that system is torn down, until it's rebuilt. These protests have to continue. People have to stay angry. 
stay angry, stay heartbroken. We're tired of no justice being served. And it's funny that the same people who are complaining about the protests being violent are the same people who told Colin Kaepernick not to take a knee. The same people. If people of color are not allowed to protest their genocide quietly and peacefully, but they're also not allowed to protest their genocide loudly and violently, what do you suggest they do? Because it sounds to me like you just don't want them to exist. And that is unacceptable. America, the world is watching you. We already knew how fucking racist you were, but now we're seeing how little you truly care for your people. How little you care for human life. Because let's not forget that your cops are currently being outfitted like fucking soldiers, but your doctors are suffering because they don't have PPE against a fucking pandemic. How is it that some of your medical workers don't have masks and gloves, but your cops seem to all have full riot gear? I think it's because you are more invested in controlling your population and keeping them quiet and subdued than you are in the saving your population. With all of that said, I just want to remind everyone that toxic racist police forces is not just a system of America. It is a worldwide problem. It is just more easily hidden in other countries. The police are violent. They enjoy attacking people brutally and seem to find excuses to do so. Maybe not all of them, but enough of them. Too many of them. Trust me when I say that hearing police officers brag about their brutality is nauseating. It's uncomfortable. It's sickening. It's disgusting. They are proud of their violence. They are proud of their brutality. And they are proud of their toxicity. We need to destroy the system. We need to build a new system. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you cannot be on the ground protesting, I implore you, if you can, I know times are tough, if you can, please donate to the organizations and funds I have listed in the description down below. A lot of them are for bailing people out in protests, and a lot of them are for the families of the deceased from the recent cases of police brutality and white supremacy in America. If you find any other donation links or any other kinds of links, petitions, anything that I have not put in the description down below, please share them in the comments for all of us and I will add them to the description as soon as I can. The fact that we've gotten to 2020 and this is still an issue and the system in place is still so, so obviously built on racial oppression is disgusting. And it's time to change. That change starts with us. That change starts with us standing and saying we won't put up with it anymore. That change has to happen. Thank you guys so much. I will see you in my next video. Stay kind, stay you, and stay angry. And I will see you guys next time.